D-backs put three infielders on the first base side against Jock, who swings away at the first one, hits it high down the right field line, but out of play. By a fastball on his right pinky finger, but seems to be okay. These Giants City Connect uniforms, there's fog on the numbers. Kind of a Two balls and a strike. Peterson slams one out to left center, and that one gets down and gets to the wall. Peterson had a double last night. He's got a Giants. Curveball steals strike one. Wilmer leads San Francisco and hits. Runs batted ears. Batting first and second tonight against Merrill Kelly. Hits it to shallow center. Thomas coming in, and Alec calls everybody off. Belt was hitless last night. He walked and struck out twice. And has just one bad bum last night. He was obviously frustrated and disappointed, admitted to. Belt squares to bunt. Yes, he offered, says Mark Ripperger. The 2 1 for Merrill Kelly. Good spot for that. 2 2. Missed away with a cutter. In the history of this game, Brandon Belt looks like he's chopping down a tree. Well, Merrill, being careful with Belt, has put. Came back from a hamstring strain. Here's your double play ball for Domo for one. Rojas, and they roll it. 9 0 for four. He struck out twice. He's in center field tonight, and there's strike one. Listen to Merrill Kelly talk to feel like I have the advantage. I think that's a great point. He felt like at this point he knows the hitter's weaknesses. There's hardly any secrets anymore, right? So I guess yeah. for both the hitter and makes his pitches, he's still going to get his out. Merrill faced the Giants three times at Oracle Park only five days after that. Looking good on the changeup. He gave him the curveball, the fastball, the changeup in that at bat. That's the first strikeout. It was the second baseman tonight. He started last night's game at shortstop. He walked Sunday here as they completed a three game sweep. I yeah, mentioned last night if the Giants uh, voted right now on the most. Estrada slides over to shortstop. The one, two. Mention Mer absolutely dominant. On the ground to second for Rojas from the outfield grass. Two outs in the second. Inflammation. That's the same injury that kept him out about 10 games. You see it now. We just got done playing the Pilson in there as well. Yeah, yeah. Braves first baseman. Rodobo in front of Rojas. A nice tidy one, two, three second for a home run. And then a two run single into the left field corner. So a big night for Bard, who's at 233 with nine home runs. 20 consecutive games. Has five multi hit games over that streak. Punches this one up in the air. First base side for Walker. Rojas now. And Josh has got it. Five in a row set to. There's a curveball for frustration all year long. That's out of play and it's 0 and 2. Wade has had. Two extended stints on the injured list this year with nagging influence. Called strike three, the sinker upstairs, and Merrill gets his second strikeout. That was
was a thing. That was so last year. <laughs> Got to accessorize. <laughs> so it's not no longer on. And hard, but Perdomo is there in the overshift. And makes the backhand play. Seven consecutive set down by Merrill the Baines. Ran that sinker in there for a strike. Wilmer flying out to center his first time. Chased a fastball upstairs. Brandon Belt held with one for 20 over his last six games. Gonna bust his way out of this slump and he drops that fair in the corner and right. Marsho trying to dig it out of there. Double play to end the first. Played only 55 games this year. Got that cutter. Went right back there. One, two. Good change up right there. Gets his fourth next. Is Dremski a strikeout victim his first time? Well, he has said, Merrill Kelly, if the hitters know he can throw all five of the pitches in the zone for strikes. Any. Last Thursday, kind of labored for a while against Pittsburgh. Jastrzemski. He's had some luck up there. Missed badly with a curve, and now it's full. 3-2 on the way. Well, the answer was changeup. Three-ship equity, and as we start this inning, Steve, we saw Tori Lovello, and there's the first pitch. I talked to Tori about it as well and just wanted him to know he was a couple of outs away from a quality start, and he'll get the ball again. He wasn't pitching as badly as he might feel, and as Madison said to us, I appreciated that he came down here. I think, Bob, we all understand what it must be like. Even you can just sympathize with him to anybody to equal what he did as a member of this Giants uh, organization. And I thought it was a real nice touch for the fans. Was remarkable. I mean, there's great feats, great athletic feats over Kansas City against the Royals in Game Seven, all on two days rest after throwing a shutout in his Game Five start. Merrill has now struck out three in a row. There have been guys that have had great postseason moments before, and that's always an argument for Kurt Schilling's Hall of Fame. Case. Madison Bumgarner threw arguably the best postseason in baseball history in that 2014 season. A complete game, six earned runs. Mm. Remarkable doesn't even begin to cover it, and that's the legacy. Right. Reno on Crawford. Some of those flags wouldn't be flying above Oracle Park if it were not for Madison Bumgarner. No doubt about that. Rivera calling everyone off. Now Perdomo takes it. Up to you. Thank you, Todd. Joey Bart. Broken bat, and that's just going to dunk into very short left. Boy, you just can't keep Bart off the bases these days. Hop straight up for Carson Kelly. Merrill Kerr leads off the sixth. Slices this deep to left field. McCarthy in front of the warning track. And there's quickly one out. Wilmer still hitless in the series. 
the score. Kelly, 46 for strikes. He has walked only one. He struck out six. Marcio headed toward the line. And there are two outs. Giants are a He signed a contract for five years that expired after last season. He's playing this year. But you have to wonder if this is his final season as a Giant. He's battled constant knee problems the last several years. Two and two. Not at all. 2-2. Two, two. Got him on the corner with a fat five batters, including Longoria, who has also hit into a double play. McCarthy can't quite get there. It gets to the wall. Yeah, Left the curveball in a bad spot that time. Got away with it 0-1. Right on the corner, he's been getting that. High in the air, center field for Thomas. Longoria is at second, and he will stay put. He's only just now crossed the. Estrada drops it down. Carson's got a hustle. And Longoria. Got Another fastball. Really didn't seem like Bobby wanted to give. Didn't get the call. That's. Tinker down and away for a strike. Field wide open. Ojas on the third base side of second. Fouls off the sinker. 2 2. Hart lifts it out to Varsho in right field. Merrill Kelly.